In the previous video, when a customer paid too much, a message showed how much of a refund was needed. For instance, you see that $6.32 is the balance right here. What we're going to do is apply $10 and see what happens. So we'll put in $10 here, click OK. And you'll see it tells us we have $3.68 left over, but I'd really like to see a dollar sign in there. If it was greater than $100, I'd like to see some commas. If it was 60 cents, I'd like to see a zero at the end. All these things wouldn't happen because it's a number. But if I format it outside of the formatting features in FileMaker with a calculation, I can make it text with dollar signs and commas and all kinds of stuff. And you're thinking, yeah, well, why not just do it like you do uh, here with the inspector when you go to the data section and go to currency? Well, there is no way to do that. You have to do it in a calculation because we're in a script here. We're not in layout mode. So we're down here and we're looking at this place right here. And we have to somehow format it right here. So we have to use a calculation and do all the formatting ourselves. So often what I do is I search the internet because there's a lot of people out there in the FileMaker community, including my website, which gives stuff away for free. It's a giving community. And so you can often search and find something that's already been done. And here's one that was done. Now I've modified it a little bit. Um, but basically this is what I found on the internet. So I'm going to copy it. And what we're going to do is do a set variable here. We'll call this dollar sign amount. Paste it right in there. And one of the ways I modified it was I extracted the field from all the places where you see at value. I put it in the let function to make it easier to update because now all I have to do is change that to X amount. Otherwise I would have had to gone here and here and here and all the different places and update it and it just makes it much easier with this let function. Now the formula itself is fairly easy to understand. I'm not going to really go over it because sometimes you don't really need to know exactly how something works. You find it on the internet it's not like a whole solution, it's just one piece. It seems efficient, doesn't slow things down. Just go with it. But the basic idea is it can go ahead and say, okay, well, how many, uh, you know, how many uh, numbers do you have? Do you have three or six or nine? And depending on that, it determines how many times it adds on values with the comma. You can see the commas right there. It's a pretty simple, straightforward formula, and if you go through it, you'll see how it works uh, as far as just extracting the, you know, three values and then three values and then three values if they're there, and then puts commas between them and there's a dollar sign. It's really straightforward. Now all we have to do is come in here, look at this, and change this to our dollar sign amount. And that should fix what we were doing. Should make it look a lot nicer. So we'll save this. Go back into browse mode. We'll go over to this invoice, the one we had before. We'll delete the value, the payment that is. Come back here, refresh manually. The $6.32 is back. Apply the funds. $10, exactly what we did before. This time, though, you see $3.68 left over. Much better. A much cleaner solution. It didn't take very long. Once you have the calculations, it's just remembering where you stored it. Is it in this solution? Uh, do I have it in a database full of, of calculations? I mean, wherever you find, you know, you want to store that, you just have to copy and paste it and change it. And it may, it may have initially been a little bit of work to find it and to modify it to your needs. But once you've got it done, it's really easy. You could even make it into a custom function if you wanted.